Hello there, my name's Andy. Now, Steinberg have just released their VST instrument collection and it's called Absolute 4. So, over the next few minutes in this video, I'm gonna take some time to show you some of the content that comes included in this package. So let's kick things off by jumping into Groove Agent 5. Now, Groove Agent 5 comes with two amazing new kits. There's Raw Power, which has got plenty of trap and hip hop in there, and also the kit, which is an acoustic kit, which has been recorded in a massive room in Berlin. And it's one of the best sounding acoustic drum samples I've ever come across. To load a kit, we can just come over here to kits and we can go through the different content packs that come with Groove Agent 5. So for instance, if I want to select Raw Power, I just click on this. Now I can see all of the presets or all of the drum kits that come included in this one content pack. So each content pack has loads of different drum kits. And it's not just about drum kits. If we move over here, you can see we've got instruments. So these are all the different components of the drum kit. So the kit pieces. And if we move over to the left hand side, we've got patterns. So you can see it's easy to trigger these patterns. You can use pads if you want, or just keys on an external keyboard controller. The thing that's nice about this is that the kits sound amazing straight out of the box. Um, so if you're not into programming your own beats or you just need somewhere to start, then this is a great place. You just set the tempo in your door and assign a MIDI keyboard and then it's really easy to trigger them. And it's good fun as well. You're never locked into all of the patterns that you're provided with when you load up a preset. So for instance, I could click on this Groove 4 I can come up here and click on this section right here and I can select another pattern from one of the other drum kits or one of the other sections in the Groove Agent 5 content. And this is just a MIDI file. So I can also go and import my own MIDI files and drag and drop them over onto one of these pads. So you're not locked in to anything specific. It's highly customizable. That's also the case when it comes to the instrument component. So for instance, I've got a kick drum here. If I'm not happy with that kick drum sound, I can come over here to my content library and I could find something and simply drag and drop it straight over. So once again, we can customize our own drum kits or we can start from scratch and bring our own samples and our own patterns in and create our own drum kits and then save them as a preset. So you notice I can trigger uh, different patterns using my fingers on an external MIDI controller and also I can use the pads. But one of the cool new things about uh, Raw Power is that it comes with bass sound. So now it's not just about using your left hand to trigger uh, patterns, we can also do things like In addition to contemporary kits, we've got this amazing new drum kit called The Kit, and it's obviously an acoustic drum kit. In addition to amazing sounding drum hits, it also comes with some pretty incredible patterns, which once again, you can trigger or you can just use your mouth. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about um, this section of Groove Agent is the complexity slider. Okay, so I'm listening to that and maybe I think it's just a little bit too complex for my track. All I need to do is grab this complexity slider right here and move it around.
So you can get some really interesting dynamics going on in there. We can also go and change the actual pattern itself. So we can decide on how complex each pad is or how simple it is, which is a really neat feature. So it's not just about, once again, being limited to the actual patterns that you've been given with each individual preset. Some other really cool things are the ability to come in and actually mix each individual drum sound. So we've got a snare here, so I've just selected it and I'll make sure it's highlighted here. I can mix the amount of room and the amount of overhead, the amount of reverb to make the room bigger. I can also tune it. And then you've got things like envelope. Um, it's also pretty awesome if you go over to the mixer. So you can see we've got groups, kicks, snare, hi-hats, toms. So we can use these group faders to control all of the different sections or components of the kit. Um, but if we click on kick snare, you can see that there's two kick mics in and out. There's two snare mics, top and bottom. And if we go over to our toms, you can also see we've got individual control over each of the um, toms. And you'll also notice there's auxiliary sends. So we can turn up the auxiliary sends on the toms, go over to auxiliary, and now we can put a reverb in over on the toms. So you can see just how many effects there are included in Groove Agent 5. The kit's my favorite all-time addition to Groove Agent. It's the best sounding kit I've come across in terms of um, the samples. And you can tell it's been painstakingly sampled in a really nice room with great mics and you know a great kit and also great playing because when you're sampling drums, it's all about the articulation. So it's all about being able to hit it quietly and go through to the largest whack. It's a really amazing addition to Absolute 4. Another flagship instrument in this collection, Absolute 4, is Hellion 6, which is probably the most sophisticated sampler on the market, but probably also the easiest to use. The actual instrument library is a collection of content from the moment Hellion pretty much started through to uh, the latest release of Hellion 6. So there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of different presets, so that you're always gonna find something that you want. We can load sounds just by clicking on the load tab here. Um, and if you click on this little slot here, you'll see all of the content packs or different instruments that come inside of Hellion 6. So it's basically a house that houses all of these different amazing software instruments. If I come down to this guy, Hot Brass, then you can see all the presets that we have in the Hot Brass instrument. Moving across to the macro, and you can start to see the parameters for the different instruments. At the moment in this hot brass patch, we've got two different brass sections here. So you can combine brass sections. Up here, you can see it says brass section two. And over here, it says brass section two staccato. That's really building a sound. This hot brass uh, instrument is basically designed for things like dub. So dub, trap, and you can get some really dirty brass sounds. Yeah, I really like that. It's crunchy um, and it's sparse. So it just fits in with that really nice trap pattern that we've got there. Down the bottom below the macro, we've got eight quick controls. These are set up to give us access to some really handy parameters. So for instance, if I write mouse can say learn CC, I can start controlling that from my external MIDI interface. And that's how easy it is to set up quick controls using Hellion 6.
This is Skylab, which is a granular synthesizer. Up the top, you can see a waveform. Now, the interesting thing about granular synthesis is that we can take snippets of this waveform and put it all together to make a really interesting sound. And I'm doing that just by controlling this position parameter right here. This guy here is controlling the grain, so... And this one's controlling the duration. So it really is a fantastic instrument to be able to come up with some crazy sound effects, but also some beautiful pad sounds. Hellion 6 is first and foremost a sampler. That's what it was designed for. All of the content that I've been showing you through the macro pages is factory content which comes straight out of the box. But one of the most fun things to do with Hellion 6 is create your own patches and your own sounds. And it's really easy to do that using things like the media bay. So for example, over here in loops and samples, I can just go into Blockbuster, find a sample that I like. It's pretty good and it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it straight over. And now... Pretty cool. So it's already mapped out to the keys. If I want, I can add effects. So right mouse click on program and say effects. Let's add reverence. Hellion 6 has an impressive collection of orchestral sounds. So we've already looked at hot brass, which is more of a contemporary brass uh, sound, but also it's got the famous Hellion Symphonic Orchestra. So there's plenty of videos around on YouTube showing you uh, the content and showing you how to use that. Make sure you check it out. But it also comes with um, studio strings. It's similar to Hot Brass, we've got main, modulation, voice, and of course, once again, all of the arpeggios. So you can go through the arpeggio library and uh, find an arpeggio that suits your track. Back in the main window here, it's similar, we've got distortion, cutoff, resonance. You don't need to use this in a traditional sense in terms of uh, playing it. Um, and having nice, beautiful, pretty lush strings. There's so many different combinations that you can come up with in between different types of sounds. So for instance, having a nice sound on the first tab and the second tab going in and finding something like spiccato and really banging up the distortion on that. Another thing that comes uh, packed in Absolute 4 are plenty of piano sounds. So you've got the grand, which gives us up to one, two, three, four, five different um, uh, piano models. You've got an upright and you've even got the Yamaha CP80, the famous Yamaha electric grand. You've got the Raven. We've also got the Eagle. So two completely separate piano plugins there inside a Hellion 6. Um, if you move over to the right hand side here, you'll see the Model C, which is uh, the organ instrument inside of Hellion 6. Just quickly, you can also build your very own instruments. So I've built an instrument which I called um, the beard, ironically enough. We've got beardy beard, fat beard, ginger beard, and so on, gray beard, that'd be me. So 
Let's click on that and go over to the macro. This is a synthesizer that I created um, inside of Hellion 6. So if you go to the macro page, designer extended, the beard. So that was something I did last year. There's a video on YouTube where I show you how to make your very own instrument. So it's worthwhile getting in and checking that out. If you've never made an instrument before, as I hadn't before I started this, it's a pretty awesome experience. And it's really interesting getting your head around um, the different types of synthesis uh, that are available inside of Hellion 6 and the different types of zones that we can add and combine together to create really contextualized and um, interesting sounds. We've had a quick overview of Hellion 6. Now let's have a look at two outstanding instruments that sit here on their own. So this is Pad Shop, which again is a granular synthesizer. So as I explained before with Skylab, the concept is we've got a wave sitting up here and it's just taking little granules from this wave and it's putting them all together. Uh, of course, we can change the position. So you can see it's moving the start point further on. Over here, we can change the width, we can change the spread. So it's now it's taking snippets from all over the place. And there's actually two waves that we can combine together, layer A and layer B. So layer B sounds like this. Watch what happens as we blend these two together. So there's an effects section in there, so we can add delay and chorus. And as with everything inside of uh, Absolute 4, it is absolutely packed full of different types of presets. So we just need to go into our media bay to find any number of presets, which we can just double click on and load. For the analog heads, we have Retrolog 2. Um, once again, there's loads and loads of different presets in here. Doesn't need a massive ex explanation, but in general, you can get soaring leads, uh, massive bass sounds. It's got an amazing effects component built into it. Um, up, up along the top here, you can see we've got a uh, arpeggiator. We've also got uh, loads and loads of arpeggiators, which we can use. arpeggiators. Let's go over to the effects and we've got a resonator. So lots of different options there. Um, we've even got a matrix down here the bottom so we can assign things like LFOs, um, we've got a modifier and we can specify a destination. So there's a quick overview of Absolute 4. And of course, I'm showing you some of my favorite parts, which are Groove Agent 5 and the two new kits and Hellion 6, which is for me, just a phenomenal sampler. Um, but 
If you don't need to sample instruments, then it also comes with Hellion Sonic, which is a really easy player. So you get all the content that you have just seen me demonstrate in Hellion 6, and you can open that up in Hellion Sonic. And that's just maybe an easier, more user-friendly way of accessing that content and being able to edit the parameters. Uh, we've looked at Retrolog, Pad Shop, and of course, some of the dance plugins. So things like Tribe Work, Hypnotic Dance, uh, Zero Gravity, and of course, it also comes with Dark Planet, which is a really nice sort of paddy type of instrument, which also comes inside of Hellion 6. There's plenty of videos online which show all of the different components of Absolute 4 on their own. And there's plenty of instructional videos. So please take your time, subscribe to the channel, have a good look around, and check out some of these amazing instruments that come part of this all new VST instrument collection, which is Absolute 4. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. I'm gonna catch you soon in another video. See you there.